Hello, what's up? It's TT Toy checking in. I haven't hollered at y'all in a minute, so I thought I would today when I was out enjoying my little afternoon walk in the park. It's been so hot down here in Texas. I haven't been outside in the past couple days. So yeah, I wanted some air today. First, I would like to say thank you to each and every one of you that watch my videos, share your input with me, subscribe to my channel, like, and share my videos. It really, really mean a lot to me as I try to put my voice out here and just express my healing journey to people who will listen it helps a lot so thank you I saw a meme today and I wanted to share my perspective on it and the meme said I can't even remember exactly what it said but to sum it up it said I'm going to match your vibe. Whatever vibe you show me, I'm going to match that. And <clears throat> I just wanted to share my perspective on it, on uh, how I used to be and how I am now matching people vibes. Um, I didn't become aware of the gifts I, I had until... I mean, I always was aware of them, but I didn't know that I could actually just go around people. Hi, Birdie. I promise the past couple of days, the past couple of days, I don't know if you can see that bird. The past couple of, bye-bye, the past couple of days, Funny looking birds been appearing to me. Birds I've never seen before. And yesterday, I know I'm getting off topic. I do that sometimes. But I'm going to go back to the meme. Yesterday, I was at HEB. And I was putting the food into the car. And I looked over on the car next to me. And there was this bird. When I tell y'all this bird had a head. Like the side of his head looked at like Skeletor. Skeletor off heat man. I, I bullshit you not. And the body was like black. And it was so weird. It, if you don't know who Skeletor is, it, it kind of looked like a dinosaur head on the side. I can't explain. That's the best way I can explain it. But I've never in life seen a bird like that. So I'm staring at it because I'm in amazement as I'm reaching for my phone. As I'm reaching for my phone to get a picture. So as I'm trying to get my phone, the bird flew away. But it was a lady parked in front of me. And she uh, opened up her door. She was like, wow, what an ugly bird. And I don't like to really call stuff ugly all the time. But the bird was unique. Like, you could never miss that bird because it stood out. So I knew I wasn't tripping when she opened the door and said that. So I ain't think nothing else of it. And later on, after I got home a few hours and settled and stuff, I was just talking to God, talking to my ancestors, you know. And the bird popped in my head. And I'm like, that was a spirit guide on everything. So I uh, Googled uh spiritual symbolisms for birds and that's what it said it said our guides sometimes appear to us like birds and ain't no way in my mind that funny looking bird i never seen before ever it was just an aha moment it was a moment showing me that i'm starting to just pay attention and slow down my mind and connect the dots and listen yeah, okay. So back to the main. Back to the main. 
Yeah, it said, yeah, you show me a certain energy, I'm gonna match your energy. And being the type of person that can go around people and go into environments and spaces and feel the energy, I used to automatically adapt it. I used to automatically, before becoming aware, I used to automatically, like if I go in a grocery store and somebody looking me up and down, whew, there I go. Instead of staying in control of my spaceship, I would just hop in the automatically feeling like, like ready to bump or whatever feeling. I would just always engulf that person feeling, take it as mine. But I had a mentor to help me understand what I was doing. And her helping me become more aware of it. I started learning how, learning when I was doing it. And working on my reactions. Or how I respond to stuff. Or I also just learned shielding techniques. And, uh, yeah. So, you talking about queen return vibes. Used to be. Queen return vibes. Whatever vibe you getting me, you going to feel it. Intensify it. I'm going to make you feel it. Back then. But, now it's like, now with the, uh, having a better awareness of what I was doing, uh, having a better awareness of the gifts. Um, always asking for guidance and operating those gifts for the purpose of the world, for my highest purpose, for, for, for humanity's good, for the world's good. This would really be one of my prayers because you're just supposed to do the right thing when supposed to do the right thing for the world when God blesses you in certain areas and not let it be manipulated into something bad. Why am I out of breath like this? Okay, okay, okay. But now I feel like this. My soul, my true self, not all these habitual habits I've become accustomed to growing up you know what i'm saying not none of that aside of that in the inside of me my heart is a lover i'm a lover i'm a nurturer i am kind that pleases me not only not only do i want people to encounter my energy and leave remembering somebody sparkly and fuzzy and colorful that may, that may have helped them smile, that may have helped them feel understood. What, however, I can assist in the moment we share together. I want it to be a positive reflection of who I am. And I don't want to give less less of myself. If if we have a connection and we dealing with one another on a certain level and I'm I'm dealing on my highest level and you're dealing on your highest level but your level depletes me or your level sets my frequency in an imbalance then why should I have to keep entertaining entertaining whatever it is or why should I have to dumb my frequency down to meet you on a level 7 when I'm trying to be on a level 10 then that means I'm not being real with myself I'm not being authentic if I do that so no, I don't believe in uh, matching energy. I don't believe in that at all. 
I believe in always being who you are, truly shining it into that world. Whether it's a low vibe or a high vibe. Stand on who you are. But when dealing with somebody, and I know everybody is not going to marry me. I might be the best baker. I can bake cakes. You might bake the best lasagna. You feel me? So, if we exchange and I'm giving you my best is the cake, your best is lasagna. I hope this makes sense to somebody. But, they're both their best and they're both good and, and it balances. If, if, if I'm baking you a, a cake to offer to you for my goodness and you offer me up uh some dry noodles that been sitting in a pot all day ain't got no soup to them or nothing and i'm supposed to be okay with that nah so i feel like if it bring me joy to be myself i'm not gonna act less than that to entertain anything so yeah Ooh, that sun done popped out. That girl sweating, sweating. But yeah, that was it for today. I've been trying to stay motivated with making the videos and have all the confidence. And it ain't even about gaining a fan base. It's not about being seen. It's just about having the confidence in myself to do something that I've been.